explain parameterized constructor with programming example. Constructor, initialization of objects at the time of declaration is done with the help of special member function known as constructor. Constructor allocates storage area for data members of an object and initializes its values, which is invoked automatically whenever an object of its associated class is created. Parameterized constructor. Constructor that takes parameters are known as parameterized constructor. While creating an object, it might be required to initialize data members with values C++ allowed to pass argument values to the parameterized constructor during the creation of an object. Format of parameterized constructor. Constructor name is same as the class name without any return data type. And it takes number of parameters as the argument list. So if there are number of arguments, it needs to be separated by comma and each of the arguments should be mentioned with data type followed by the argument or parameter name. And inside the parameterized constructor, we can include data member initialization. The data member can be initialized by the value of argument or parameter. Example rectangle class with parameterized constructor to initialize data members length and breadth. So here we have a class rectangle. There are two private data members length and breadth. In the public sections, we have included a parameterized constructor. Constructor name is rectangle. It takes two parameters of integer type L and V. Inside the parameterized constructor, we initialize the data members length and breadth. Length is initialized by the value L and breadth is initialized by the value of B. Parameterized constructor rectangle int L, int B is having two parameters named L and B, which is used to initialize data members length and breadth respectively. While creating an object, initial values can be passed as arguments to the constructor as calling constructor explicitly with initialization values and assign it to the object. Example to create an object R1 for rectangle class by calling constructor explicitly rectangle R1 equals rectangle 3,5. So R1 is the object of rectangle class and on the right hand side of the equal, we are calling the constructor explicitly. The name of the constructor is rectangle and the argument values are 3 comma 5. So 3 for length and 5 for breadth. Second, calling constructor implicitly by mentioning initialization values with the object. To create an object R1 for rectangle class by calling constructor implicitly. Rectangle R1, 3,5. So R1 is the object and the parameter values are mentioned directly with the object name. So there is no explicit call of constructor. So constructor will get called automatically and it is called implicitly. Example, C++ program to create a class named a rectangle with two private data members length and breadth and a method named find area to find and return area of rectangle. Include default and parameterized constructor to initialize data members. So we first create a class which is named as rectangle. Inside the class rectangle, there are two private data members, length and breadth of integer type. 
In the public section, first we are including a default constructor. The constructor which is having no parameters are named as default constructor. Inside the default constructor, we are writing the logic to take the value of length and breadth from user by using scene statement. So by using scene, we accept the value of length and by using scene again, we accept the value of breadth inside the default constructor. Next, we are including a parameterized constructor. The name of the constructor is same as the class name rectangle. It takes two parameters of integer type. The first parameter name is L. The second parameter name is B. Now, during the initialization of data members inside the parameterized constructor, the value of L need to be assigned to length and the value of B need to be assigned to breadth. Find area is a method, a member function, which finds the area of rectangle as length into breadth and return the result as and return the result as integer value. In the main method, we have created two objects for rectangle class. The objects are named as R1 and R2. During the creation of R1, we have not mentioned any parameter values. So it will call default constructor because there are no parameters values are mentioned. So it will default, it will call default constructor. And inside the default constructor, it takes the value of length and breadth for R1. While creation of R2, we are passing the parameter values 3 and 5. So it will call parameterized to constructor. The first value 3 will pass to L and 5 will pass to B. And from L, the value 3 goes to length. And from B, the value 5 goes to breadth. So length and breadth will be initialized as 3 and 5 for the object R2. Next, we are calling the find area method for both the object R1 and R2. And the result is displayed by using cout statement. During the creation of R1 object, default constructor get called. And during the creation of R2, parameterized constructor get called. 